Dresden. Dresden, Upper and Lower Sorbian, Dresdeni, is the capital city and, after Leipzig, the second largest city of the Free State of Saxony in Germany. It is situated in a valley on the river Elba, near the border with the Czech Republic. Dresden has a long history as the capital and royal residence for the electors and kings of Saxony, who for centuries furnished the city with cultural and artistic splendor, and was once by personal union the family seat of Polish monarchs. The city was known as the Jewel Box, because of its Baroque and Rococo city center. The controversial American and British bombing of Dresden in World War II towards the end of the war killed approximately 25,000 people, many of whom were civilians, and destroyed the entire city center. After the war restoration work has helped to reconstruct parts of the historic inner city, including the Kaplische Hofkirche, the Swinger and the famous Semper Oper. Since German reunification in 1990 Dresden is again a cultural, educational and political center of Germany and Europe. The Dresden University of Technology is one of the ten largest universities in Germany and part of the German University's Excellence Initiative. The economy of Dresden and its agglomeration is one of the most dynamic in Germany and ranks first in Saxony. It is dominated by high-tech branches, often called Silicon Saxony. The city is also one of the most visited in Germany with 4.3 million overnight stays per year. The royal buildings are among the most impressive buildings in Europe. Main sites are also the nearby National Park of Saxon Switzerland, the Ore Mountains and the countryside around Elbe Valley and Moritzburg Castle. The most prominent building in the city of Dresden is the Frauenkirche. Built in the 18th century, the church was destroyed during World War II. The remaining ruins were left for 50 years as a war memorial, before being rebuilt between 1994 and 2005. According to the Hamburgische Weltwurstschaftsinstitut, HWWI, and Burenberg Bank in 2017, Dresden has the fourth best prospects for the future of all cities in Germany. Although Dresden is a relatively recent city of Germanic origin followed by settlement of Slavic people, the area had been settled in the Neolithic era by linear pottery culture tribes ca. 7500 BC. Dresden's founding and early growth is associated with the eastward expansion of Germanic peoples, mining in the nearby Ore Mountains, and the establishment of the Margraviate of Meissen. Its name etymologically derives from Old Sorbian Dresdeni, meaning people of the forest. Dresden later evolved into the capital of Saxony. Around the late 12th century, a Slavic settlement called Dresdeni, meaning either marsh or lowland forest dweller, had developed on the southern bank. Another settlement existed on the northern bank, but its Slavic name is unknown. It was known as Antiqua Dresden by 1350, and later as Alten Dresden, both literally Old Dresden. Dietrich, Margrave of Meissen, chose Dresden as his interim residence in 1206, as documented in a record calling the place Civitas Dresden. After 1270, Dresden became the capital of the Margraviate. It was given to Friedrich Clem after death of Henry the Illustrious in 1288. It was taken by the Margraviate of Brandenburg in 1316 and was restored to the Wedden dynasty after the death of Valdemar the Great in 1319. From 1485, it was the seat of the Dukes of Saxony, and from 1547 the electors as well. The elector and ruler of Saxony Frederick Augustus I became King Augustus II the Strong of Poland in 1697. He gathered many of the best musicians, architects and painters from all over Europe to the newly named Royal Polish Residential City of Dresden. His reign marked the beginning of Dresden's emergency as a leading European city for technology and art. During the reign of Kings Augustus II the Strong and Augustus III of Poland most of the city's Baroque landmarks were a built. These include the Zwinger Royal Palace, the Japanese Palace, the Taschenberg Palais, the Pilnitz Castle and the two landmark churches, the Catholic Hofkirche and the Lutheran Frauenkirche. In addition significant art collections and museums were founded. Notable examples include the Dresden Porcelain Collection, the Collection of Prints, Drawings, and Photographs, the Grunsguolb and the Mathematische Physikalische Salon. In 1729, by decree of King Augustus II, the first Polish military academy was founded in Dresden. In 1730, it was relocated to Warsaw. Dresden suffered heavy destruction in the Seven Years' War, 1756 to 1763, following its capture by Prussian forces, its subsequent recapture, and a failed Prussian siege in 1760. Friedrich Schiller wrote his Ode to Joy 
the literary base of the European anthem, for the Dresden Masonic Lodge in 1785. During the decline of Poland, Dresden was site of preparations for the Polish Kosciuszka uprising. The city of Dresden had a distinctive silhouette, captured in famous paintings by Bernardo Bellotto and by Norwegian painter Johann Christian Dahl. Between 1806 and 1918, the city was the capital of the Kingdom of Saxony, which was a part of the German Empire from 1871. During the Napoleonic Wars the French Emperor made it a base of operations, winning there the famous Battle of Dresden on August 27, 1813. Following the November Uprising, 1831, many Poles, including writers Julius Slowicki, Stefan Florian Gerczynski, Clementina Hoffmanowa and composer Frédéric Chopin, fled from the Russian partition of Poland to Dresden. Also national poet Adam Mickiewicz stayed several months in Dresden, starting in March 1832. He wrote the poetic dramagedy, Part 3 there. Dresden saw a further influx of Poles after the 1848 and 1863 uprisings, amongst whom were authors Teofil Liner Tewicz, Józef Ignat Zakrzewski, and Wersaniek Benzels Czerna and Gestrin. Dresden itself was a center of the German revolutions in 1848 with the May Uprising, which cost human lives and damaged the historic town of Dresden. During the 19th century, the city became a major center of economy, including motor car production, food processing, banking and the manufacture of medical equipment. In the early 20th century, Dresden was particularly well known for its camera works and its cigarette factories. Between 1918 and 1934, Dresden was capital of the first free state of Saxony. Dresden was the center of European modern art until 1933. During the foundation of the German Empire in 1871, a large military facility called Albertstadt was built. It had a capacity of up to 20,000 military personnel at the beginning of the First World War. The garrison saw only limited use between 1918 and 1934, but was then reactivated in preparation for the Second World War. Its usefulness was limited by attacks on April 17, 1945 on the railway network, especially towards Bohemia. Soldiers had been deployed as late as March 1945 inches the Albertstadt garrison. The Albertstadt garrison became the headquarters of the Soviet First Guards tank army in the group of Soviet forces in Germany after the war. Apart from the German Army Officers School, Officer Schule de Harris, there have been no more military units in Dresden since the army merger during German reunification, and the withdrawal of Soviet forces in 1992. Nowadays, the Bundeswehr operates the Military History Museum of the Federal Republic of Germany in the former Albertstadt garrison. During the Nazi era from 1933 to 1945, the Jewish community of Dresden was reduced from over 6,000, 7,100 people were persecuted as Jews, to 41, as a result of emigration and murders. Non-Jews were also targeted, and over 1,300 people were executed by the Nazis at the Mönchner Platz a courthouse in Dresden, including labor leaders, undesirables, resistance fighters and anyone caught listening to foreign radio broadcasts. The bombing stopped prisoners who were busy digging a large hole into which an additional 4,000 prisoners were to be disposed of. Dresden in the 20th century was a major communications hub and manufacturing center with 127 factories and major workshops and was designated by the German military as a defensive strong point, with which to hinder the Soviet advance. Being the capital of the German state of Saxony, Dresden not only had garrisons but a whole military borough, the Albertstadt. This military complex, named after Saxon King Albert, was not specifically targeted in the bombing off Dresden, though it was within the expected area of destruction and was extensively damaged. During the final months of the Second World War, Dresden harbored some 600,000 refugees, with a total population of Dresden was attacked seven times between 1944 and 1945, and was occupied by the Red Army after the German capitulation. The bombing of Dresden by the Royal Air Force, RAF, and the United States Army Air Forces, ASAF, between 13 and February 15, 1945 remains controversial. On the night of 13 February 14, 1945, 773 RAF Lancaster bombers dropped 1,181.6 tons of incendiary bombs and 1,477.7 tons of high-explosive bombs on the city. The inner city of Dresden was largely destroyed the high-explosive bombs damaged buildings and exposed their wooden structures, while the incendiaries ignited them, 
denying their use by retreating German troops and refugees. Widely quoted Nazi propaganda reports claim 200,000 deaths, but the German Dresden Historians Commission, made up of 13 prominent German historians, in an official 2010 report published after five years of research concluded that casualties numbered between 18,000 and 25,000. The Allies described the operation as the legitimate bombing of a military and industrial target. Several researchers have argued that the February attacks were a disproportionate. Mostly women and children died. When interviewed after the war in 1977, Sir Arthur Harris stood by his decision to carry out the raids, and reaffirmed that it reduced the German military's ability to wage war. American author Kurt Vonnegut's novel Slaughterhouse Five is loosely based on his first hand experience of the raid as a POW. In remembrance of the victims, the anniversaries of the bombing of Dresden are marked with peace demonstrations, devotions, and marches. The destruction of Dresden allowed Hildebrand Gurlitt, a major Nazi museum director and art dealer, to hide a large collection of artwork worth over a billion dollars that had been stolen during the Nazi era, as he claimed it had been destroyed along with his house, which was located in Dresden. After the Second World War, Dresden became a major industrial center in the German Democratic Republic, former East Germany, with a great deal of research infrastructure. It was the center of Bezirk Dresden, Dresden District, between 1952 and 1990. Many of the city's important historic buildings were reconstructed, including the Semper Opera House and the Zwinger Palace, although the city leaders chose to rebuild large areas of the city in a socialist modern style, partly for economic reasons but also to break away from the city's past as the royal capital of Saxony and a stronghold of the German bourgeoisie. Some of the ruins of churches, royal buildings and palaces, such as the Gothic Sophie and Kirche, the Albert Theater and the Wacker Barth Palais, were raised by the Soviet and East German authorities in the 1950s and 1960s rather than being repaired. Compared to West Germany, the majority of historic buildings were saved. From 1985 to 1990, the future president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, was stationed in Dresden by the KGB, where he worked for Lazar Matveyev, the senior KGB liaison officer there. On October 3, 1989, the so-called Battle of Dresden, a convoy of trains carrying East German refugees from Prague passed through Dresden on its way to the Federal Republic of Germany. Local activists and residents joined in the growing civil disobedience movement spreading across the German Democratic Republic by staging demonstrations and demanding the removal of the non-democratic government. Dresden has experienced dramatic changes since the reunification of Germany in the early 1990s. The city still bears many wounds from the bombing raids off 1945, but it has undergone significant reconstruction in recent decades. Restoration of the Dresden Frau and Gersha was completed in 2005, a year before Dresden's 800th anniversary, notably by privately raised funds. The gold cross on the top of the church was funded officially by the British people in the House of Windsor. The urban renewal process, which includes the reconstruction of the area around the Newmark Square on which the Frau Ankersche is situated, will continue for many decades, but public and government interest remains high, and there are numerous large projects underway, both historic reconstructions and modern plans, that will continue the city's recent architectural renaissance. Prominently, the Dresden Frau Ankersche, a Lutheran church, began to be rebuilt after the reunification of Germany in 1994. Both exterior and interior reconstruction were completed by 2005. Dresden remains a major cultural center of historical memory, owing to the city's destruction in World War II. Each year on 13th of February, the anniversary of the British and American firebombing raid that destroyed most of the city, tens of thousands of demonstrators gathered to commemorate the event. Since reunification, the ceremony has taken on a more neutral and pacifist tone, after being used more politically during the Cold War. Beginning in 1999, right-wing neo-Nazi white nationalist groups have organized demonstrations in Dresden that have been among the largest of their type in the post-war history of Germany. Each year around the anniversary of the city's destruction, people convene in the memory of those who died in the firebombing. The completion of the reconstructed Dresden Frauenkirche in 2005 marked the first step in rebuilding the new marked area. The areas around the square have been divided into eight quarters, with each being rebuilt as a separate project, the majority of buildings to be rebuilt either to the original structure or at least with a facade similar to the original. Quarter I and the front section of quarters 2, 3, 4 and 5 2, have since been completed, with quarter 8 currently under construction. In 2002, 
torrential rains caused the Elba to flood above its normal height, i.e., even higher than the old record height from 1845, damaging many landmarks see 2002 European flood. The destruction from this millennium flood is no longer visible, due to the speed of reconstruction. The United Nations Cultural Organization UNESCO declared the Dresden Elba Valley to be a World Heritage Site in 2004. After being placed on the list of endangered World Heritage Sites in 2006, the city lost the title in June 2009, due to the construction of the Wald Schlossenbrück, making it only the second ever World Heritage Site to be removed from the register. UNESCO stated in 2006 that the bridge would destroy the cultural landscape. The city council's legal moves, meant to prevent the bridge from being built, failed. Dresden lies on both banks of the Elbe River, mostly in the Dresden Basin, with the further reaches of the eastern Nor Mountains to the south, the steep slope of the Lusatian Granitic Crust to the north, and the Elbe Sandstone Mountains to the east at an altitude of about. Triebenberg is the highest point in Dresden at with a pleasant location and a mild climate on the Elba, as well as Baroque-style architecture and numerous world-renowned museums and art collections, Dresden has been called Elbe Florence, Florence of the Elba. The incorporation of neighboring rural communities over the past 60 years has made Dresden the 12th largest urban district by area in Germany after Berlin, Hamburg, and Cologne. The nearest German cities are Chemnitz to the southwest, Leipzig to the northwest and Berlin to the north. Prague. Czech Republic is about to the south and to the east is the Polish city of Wrocław. Dresden is one of the greenest cities in all of Europe, with 63% of the city being green areas and forests. The Dresden Heath, Dresdner Heide, to the north is a forest 50 kilometers in size. There are four nature reserves. The additional special conservation areas cover 18 kilometers. The protected gardens, parkways, parks and old graveyards host 110 natural monuments in the city. The Dresden Elbe Valley is a former World Heritage Site which is focused on the conservation of the cultural landscape in Dresden. One important part of that landscape is the Elbe Meadows, which cross the city in a 20-kilometer swap. Saxon Switzerland is an important nearby location. Like many places in eastern parts of Germany, Dresden has an oceanic climate, Köppen Climate Classification CFB, with significant continental influences due to its inland location. The summers are warm. Averaging 19.0 degrees Celsius, 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit, in July. The winters are slightly colder than the German average, with a January average temperature of, just preventing it from being a humid continental climate, Köppen Climate Classification DFB. The driest months are February, March, and April, with precipitation of around. The wettest months are July and August, with more than per month. The microclimate in the Elba Valley differs from that on the slopes and in the higher areas, where the Dresden District Klotsch, at 227 meters above sea level, hosts the Dresden Weather Station. The weather in Klotsch is colder than in the inner city at 112 meters above sea level. Because of its location on the banks of the Elba, into which some water sources from the Ore Mountains flow, flood protection is important. Large areas are kept free of buildings to provide a floodplain. Two additional trenches, about 50 meters wide, have been built to keep the inner city free off water from the Elba, by dissipating the water downstream through the inner city's gorge portion. Flood regulation systems like detention basins and water reservoirs are almost all outside the city area. The Viserets, normally a rather small river, suddenly ran directly into the main station of Dresden during the 2002 European floods. This was largely because the river returned to its former route, it had been diverted so that a railway could run along the riverbed. Many locations and areas need to be protected by walls and sheet pilings during floods. A number of districts become waterlogged if the Alba overflows across some of its former floodplains. Dresden is a spacious city. Its districts differ in their structure and appearance. Many parts still contain an old village core, while some quarters are almost completely preserved as rural settings. Other characteristic kinds of urban areas are the historic outskirts of the city, and the former suburbs with scattered housing. During the German Democratic Republic, many apartment blocks were built. The original parts of the city are almost all in the districts of Altstadt, Old Town, and Neustadt, Newtown. Growing outside the city walls, the historic outskirts were built in the 18th century. They were planned and constructed on the orders of the Saxon monarchs, which is why the outskirts are often named after sovereigns. 
From the 19th century the city grew by incorporating other districts. Dresden has been divided into 10 districts called Orts and Sperik and 9 former boroughs, Orts Chefton, which have been incorporated. The population of Dresden grew to 100,000 inhabitants in 1852, making it one of the first German cities after Hamburg and Berlin to reach that number. The population peaked at 649,252 in 1933 and dropped to 450,000 in 1946 because of World War II, during which large residential areas of the city were destroyed. After large incorporations and city restoration, the population grew to 522,532 again between 1950 and 1983. Since German reunification, demographic development has been very unsteady. The city has struggled with migration and suburbanization. During the 1990s, the population increased to 480,000 because of several incorporations, and decreased to 452,827 in 1998. Between 2000 and 2010, the population grew quickly by more than 45,000 inhabitants, about 9.5%, due to a stabilized economy and reurbanization. Along with Munich and Potsdam, Dresden is one of the 10 fastest growing cities in Germany while the population of the surrounding new federal states is still shrinking. As of 2016 about 50.2% of the population was female. The mean age of the population was 43 years, which is the lowest among the urban districts in Saxony. There were 34,7277 people with a migration background, 6.3% of the population, down from 8.7% in 2013, and about half. 25,224 or about 3.6% of all Dresden citizens were foreigners. This percentage is down from 4.7% in 2013. Dresden is one of Germany's 16 political centers in the capital of Saxony. It has institutions of democratic local self-administration that are independent from capital functions. Some local affairs of Dresden receive national attention. Dresden hosted some international summits such as the Petersburg Dialogue between Russia and Germany, the European Union's Minister of the Interior Conference and the G8 Labour Ministers Conference in recent years. The City Council defines the basic principles of the municipality by decrees and statutes. The Council gives orders to the Burgermeister, Burgermaster or Mayor, by voting for resolutions and thus has some executive power. There was no stable governing majority on Dresden City Council, Stadtrat. The Supreme Burgomaster is directly elected by the citizens for a term of seven years. Executive functions are normally elected indirectly in Germany. However, the Supreme Burgomaster shares numerous executive rights with the city council. He or she is the executive head of the municipality, and also the ceremonial representative of the city. The main departments of the municipality are managed by seven burgomasters. Local affairs in Dresden often center around the urban development of the city and its spaces. Architecture and the design of public places is a controversial subject. Discussions about the Waldschlossenbrück, a bridge under construction across the Elbe, received international attention because of its position across the Dresden Elbe Valley World Heritage Site. The city held a public referendum in 2005 on whether to build the bridge, prior to UNESCO expressing doubts about the compatibility between bridge and heritage. Its construction caused loss of World Heritage Site status in 2009. In 2006 Dresden sold its publicly subsidized housing organization, Wolbe Dresden GmbH, to the U.S.-based private investment company Fortress Investment Group. The city received euro and paid off its remaining loans, making it the first large city in Germany to become debt-free. Opponents of the sale were concerned about Dresden's loss of control over the subsidized housing market. Since October 2014, Pehida, a nationalistic political movement based in Dresden has been organizing weekly demonstrations against what it perceives as the Islamization of Europe Although the primarily Turkish and Muslim population make up only 0.2% of the population of the city As the number of demonstrators increased to 17,500 on December 22, so has the international media coverage of it Along with its twin city Coventry in England Dresden was one of the first two cities to pair with a foreign city after the Second World War. The cities became twins after the war in an act of reconciliation, as both had suffered near total destruction from massive aerial bombing. Similar symbolism occurred in 1988, when Dresden twinned with the Dutch city of Rotterdam. The Coventry Blitz and Rotterdam Blitz bombardments by the German Luftwaffe are also considered to be disproportional. Dresden has had a triangular partnership with St. Petersburg and Hamburg since 1987. 
Dresden has 14 twin cities. Karl Maria von Weber and Richard Wagner had a number of their works performed for the first time in Dresden. Other famous artists, such as Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, Otto Dix, Oskar Kokoschka, Richard Strauss, Gottfried Semper, and Gret Palaka, were also active in the city. Dresden is also home to several important art collections, world-famous musical ensembles, and significant buildings from various architectural periods, many of which were rebuilt after the destruction of the Second World War. The Saxon State Opera descends from the opera company of the former electors and kings of Saxony. Their first opera house was the Open House M. Taschenberg, opened in 1667. The Open House M. Swinger presented opera from 1719 to 1756, when the Seven Years' War began. The later Zemper Opera was completely destroyed during the bombing of Dresden during the Second World War. The opera's reconstruction was completed exactly 40 years later, on February 13, 1985. Its musical ensemble is the Zexische Staatskapelle Dresden, founded in 1548. The Dresden State Theater runs a number of smaller theaters. The Dresden State Operetta is the only independent operetta in Germany. The Hercules Kuhl, Hercules Club, is an important site in German speaking political cabaret. There are several choirs in Dresden, the best known of which is the Dresdner Kreuzchor, Choir of the Holy Cross. It is a boys' choir drawn from pupils of the Kreuzschule, and was founded in the 13th century. The Dresdner Kapellknaben are not related to the Staatskapelle but to the former Hofkapelle, the Catholic Cathedral, since 1980. The Dresden Philharmonic Orchestra is the orchestra of the city of Dresden. Throughout the summer, the outdoor concert series Swinger Concert und Mare is held in the Zwinger Hof. Performances include dance and music. A big event each year in June is the Bunte Republic Neustadt, a culture festival lasting three days in the city district of Dresden Neustadt. Bands play live concerts for free in the streets and people can find all kinds of refreshments and food. Dresden hosts the Stadtlich and Kunstsammlung in Dresden, Dresden State Art Collections, which, according to the institution's own statements, place it among the most important museums presently in existence. The art collections consist of 12 museums of which the Gemal de Gallery Altemeister, Old Masters Gallery, and the Grunsky Old, Green Vault, and the Japanese Palace, Japanisches Palais, are the most famous. Also known are Gallery Neumeister, New Masters Gallery, Ruskemmer, Armory, with the Turkish Chamber, and the Museum für Vokerkunde Dresden, Museum of Ethnology. Other museums and collections owned by the Free State of Saxony in Dresden are the Dresden City Museum is run by the city of Dresden and focused on the city's history. The Militärhistorisches Museum der Bundeswehr, Military History Museum, is placed in the former garrison in the Albertstadt. The Book Museum of the Saxon State Library presents the famous Dresden Codex. The Botanischer Garten Dresden is a botanical garden in the Grosser Garden that is maintained by the Dresden University of Technology. Also located in the Grosser Garden is the Dresden Zoo. The Kraszewski Museum is a museum dedicated to the most prolific Polish writer Józef Ignacy Kraszewski, who lived in Dresden from 1863 to 1883. Although Dresden is often said to be a Baroque city, its architecture is influenced by more than one style. Other eras of importance are the Renaissance and Historism, as well as the contemporary styles of Modernism and Postmodernism. Dresden has some 13000 listed cultural monuments and eight districts under general preservation orders. The royal buildings are among the most impressive buildings in Dresden. The Dresden Castle was the seat of the royal household from 1485. The wings of the building have been renewed, built upon, and restored many times. Due to this integration of styles, the castle is made up of elements of the Renaissance, Baroque, and Classicist styles. The Zwinger Palace is across the road from the castle. It was built on the old stronghold of the city and was converted to a center for the royal art collections and a place to hold festivals. Its gate by the moat, surmounted by a golden crown, is famous. Other royal buildings and ensembles. The Hofkirche was the church of the royal household. Augustus the Strong, who desired to be king of Poland, converted to Catholicism, as Polish kings had to be Catholic. At that time Dresden was strictly Protestant. Augustus the Strong ordered the building of the Hofkirche, the Roman Catholic Cathedral, to establish a sign of Roman Catholic religious importance in Dresden. The church is the Cathedral Sancta Symmetrinitatis since 1980. The crypt of the Wedden dynasty is located within the church. King Augustus III of Poland is buried in the cathedral, 
as one of very few Polish kings to be buried outside the Wawel Cathedral in Krakow. In contrast to the Hofkirche, the Lutheran Frauenkirche was built almost contemporaneously by the citizens of Dresden. It is said to be the greatest cupola of building in Central and Northern Europe. The city's historic Kreuzkirche was reconsecrated in 1388. There are also other churches in Dresden, for example a Russian Orthodox church in the Sudbrestadt district. Dresden has been an important site for the development of contemporary architecture for centuries, and this trend has continued into the 20th and 21st centuries. Historicist buildings made their presence felt on the cityscape until the 1920s sampled by public buildings such as the Staatskanzlei or the City Hall. One of the youngest buildings of that era is the Hygiene Museum, which is designed in an impressively monumental style, but employs plain facades and simpler structures. It is often attributed, wrongly, to the Bauhaus School. Most of the present cityscape of Dresden was built after 1945, a mix of reconstructed or repaired old buildings and new buildings in the modern and postmodern styles. Important buildings erected between 1945 and 1990 are the Centrum Warring House, a large department store, representing the international style, the Culture Pay Last, and several smaller and two bigger complexes of Plattenbau housing in Gorbitz. While there is also housing dating from the era of Stalinist architecture. After 1990 and German reunification, new styles emerged. Important contemporary buildings include the New Synagogue, a postmodern building with few windows, the Transparent Factory, the Saxon State Parliament, and the New Terrace, the Ufa Kristallpalast Cinema by Kupimel Bello, one of the biggest buildings of deconstructivism in Germany, and the Saxon State Library. Daniel Leibskind and Norman Foster both modified existing buildings. Foster roofed the main railway station with translucent Teflon coated synthetics. Leibskind changed the whole structure of the Bundeswehr Military History Museum Museum by placing a wedge through the historical arsenal building. Other buildings include important bridges crossing the Elbe River, the Blauest Thunder Bridge, and the Augustusbrück, which is on the site of the oldest bridge in Dresden. There are about 300 fountains and springs many of them in parks or squares. The wells serve only a decorative function, since there is a fresh water system in Dresden. Springs and fountains are also elements in contemporary city spaces. The most famous sculpture in Dresden is Jean Joseph Vinicky's golden equestrian sculpture of August the Strong called the Goldener Rider, Golden Cavalier on the Neustadter Markt Square. It shows August at the beginning of the Hauptstrasse, Main Street, on his way to Warsaw, where he was King of Poland in personal union. Another sculpture is the Memorial of Martin Luther in front of the Frauenkirche. The Garden City of Hellerau, at that time a suburb of Dresden, was founded in 1909. In 1911 Heinrich Tessa now built the Hellerau Festspielhaus. Festival theater in Hellerau became a center of modernism with international standing until the outbreak of World War I. In 1950, Hellerau was incorporated into the city of Dresden. Today the Hellerau reform architecture is recognized as exemplary. In the 1990s, the garden city of Hellerau became a conservation area. Dresden's urban parts are subdivided in rather a lot of city quarters, up to around 100, among them relatively many larger villa quarters dominated by historic multiple dwelling units, especially, but not only along the river, most known are Blaswitz, Loschwitz. Pilnitz, and Weiser Hirsch. Also, some Art Nouveau living quarters and two bigger quarters typical for communist architecture, but much renovated, can be found. At the villa town of Raitbuehl joins the Dresden city tram system, which is expansive due to the lack of an underground system. There are several small cinemas presenting cult films and low budget or low profile films chosen for their cultural value. Dresden also has a few multiplex cinemas, of which the Rundkino is the oldest. Dresden has been a center for the production of animated films and optical cinematic techniques. Dresden is home to Dynamo Dresden, which had a tradition in UEFA club competitions up to the early 1990s. Dynamo Dresden won eight titles in the DDR Oberliga. Currently, the club is a member of the two Bundesliga after some seasons in the Bundesliga and Third Liga. In the early 20th century, the city was represented by Dresdner SC who were one of Germany's most successful clubs in football. Their best performances came during World War II, when they were twice German champions, and twice cup winners. Dresdner SC is a multi-sport club. While its football team plays in the sixth-tier Landsliga Sachsen, its volleyball section has a team in the women's Bundesliga. Dresden has a third football team SC Borja Dresden. Escape Dresdner Iloan is an ice hockey club playing in the second Bundesliga again.
Dresden Monarchs are an American football team in the German Football League. The Dresden Titans are the city's top basketball team. Due to good performances, they have moved up several divisions and currently play in Germany's second division ProA. The Titans' home arena is the Margen Arena. Since 1890, horse races have taken place and the Dresden Arena in 1890 EV are active in one of the big sporting events in Dresden. Major sporting facilities in Dresden are the Glucksge Stadium, the Heinz Steyr Stadion and the Energy Verbund Arena for ice hockey. The Bunz Autobahn 4, European Route E40, crosses Dresden in the northwest from west to east. The Bunz Autobahn 17 leaves the A4 in a southeastern direction. In Dresden it begins to cross the Ore Mountains towards Prague. The Bunz Autobahn 13 leaves from the three-point interchange dresden Nor and goes to Berlin. The A13 and the A17 are on the European Route E55. Several Bundestrasse roads crossing or running through Dresden. There are two main intercity transit hubs in the railway network in Dresden, Dresden Hauptbahnhof and Dresden Neustadt railway station. The most important railway lines run to Berlin, Prague, Leipzig, and Chemnitz. A commuter train system, Dresden S-Bahn, operates on three lines alongside long-distance routes. Dresden Airport is the city's international airport, located at the northwestern outskirts of the town. Its infrastructure has been improved with new terminals and a motorway access route. Dresden has a large tramway network operated by Dresdner Verkehrsbetrieb, the municipal transport company. Because the geological bedrock does no tallow the building of underground railways, the tramway is an important form of public transport. The Transport Authority operates 12 lines on a network. Many of the new low floor vehicles are up to 45 meters long and produced by Bombardier Transportation in Bautzen. While about 30% of the system's lines are on reserve track, often sown with grass to avoid noise, many tracks still run on the streets, especially in the inner city. The cargo tram is a tram that supplies Volkswagen's transparent factory, crossing the city. The transparent factory is located not far from the city center next to the city's largest park. The districts of Loschwitz and Weiser Hirsch are connected by the Dresden Funicular Railway, which has been carrying passengers back and forth since 1895. Dresden is the capital of a German land, federal state. It is home to the Landtag of Saxony and the ministries of the Saxon government. The controlling constitutional court of Saxony is in Leipzig, the highest Saxon court in civil and criminal law. The Higher Regional Court of Saxony, has its home in Dresden. Most of the Saxon state authorities are located in Dresden. Dresden is home to the Regional Commission of the Dresden Regierungsbezirk, which is a controlling authority for the Saxon government. It has jurisdiction over eight rural districts, two urban districts and the city of Dresden. Like many cities in Germany, Dresden is also home to a local court has a trade corporation and a chamber of industry and trade and many subsidiaries of federal agencies, such as the Federal Labor Office or the Federal Agency for Technical Relief. It hosts some divisions of the German Customs and the Eastern Federal Waterways Directorate. Dresden is home to a military sub-district command, but no longer has large military units as it did in the past. Dresden is the traditional location for army officer schooling in Germany, today carried out in the office Erschule de Harris. Until famous enterprises like Dresdner Bank left Dresden in the communist era to avoid nationalization, Dresden was one of the most important German cities, an important industrial center of the German Democratic Republic. The period of the GDR until 1990 was characterized by low economic growth in comparison to Western German cities. In 1990, Dresden had to struggle with the economic collapse of the Soviet Union and the other export markets in Eastern Europe. After reunification, enterprises and production sites broke down almost completely as they entered the social market economy, facing competition from the Federal Republic of Germany. After 1990 a completely new legal system and currency system was introduced and infrastructure was largely rebuilt with funds from the Federal Republic of Germany. Dresden as a major urban center has developed much faster and more consistently than most other regions in the former German Democratic Republic, but it still faces many social and economic problems stemming from the collapse of the former system, including high unemployment levels. Between 1990 and 2010 the unemployment rate fluctuated between 13% and 15% and is still relatively high, with a low of 8.9% in May 2012. Dresden has raised its GDP per capita to €31,100, close to the GDP per capita of some West German communities, the average of the 50 biggest cities is around €35,000.
Thanks to the presence of public administration centers, a high density of semi-public research institutes and an extension of publicly funded high technology sectors, the proportion of highly qualified workers Dresden is again among the highest in Germany and by European criteria. Dresden regularly ranks among the best 10 bigger cities in Germany to live in. Three major sectors dominate Dresden's economy. Silicon Saxony Saxony's semiconductor industry was built up in 1969. Major enterprises today are AMD spin-off Global Foundries, Infineon Technologies, ZMDI and Topon Photomasks. Their factories attract many suppliers of material and cleanroom technology enterprises to Dresden. The pharmaceutical sector developed at the end of the 19th century. The Saxishes Serum Work Dresden, Saxon Serum Plant, Dresden, owned by GlaxoSmithKline, is a global leader in vaccine production. Another traditional pharmaceuticals producer is Erznia Middlework at Dresden, Pharmaceutical Works, Dresden. A third traditional branch is that of mechanical and electrical engineering. Major employers are the Volkswagen Transparent Factory, Elba Flugzeugwerke, Elba Aircraft Works, Siemens and Linkacea Dresden. The tourism industry enjoys high revenue and supports many employees. There are around 100 bigger hotels in Dresden, many of which cater in the upscale range. Dresden still has a shortage of corporate headquarters. The media sector is not particularly strong in Dresden. The media in Dresden include two major newspapers of regional record, the Zexische Zeitung, Saxon newspaper, circulation around 228,000, and the Dresdner Neues Nachrichten, Dresden's latest news, circulation around 50,000. Dresden has a broadcasting center belonging to the Middle Deutsche Rundfunk, the Dresdner Druckhund Verlag Schaus. Dresden Printing Plant and Publishing House, produces part of Spiegel's print run, amongst other newspapers and magazines. Dresden is home to a number of renowned universities, but among German cities it is a more recent location for academic education. Other universities include the Hochschule für Kirchenmusik, a school specializing in church music, the Evangelische Hochschule für Sozialarbeit, an education institution for social work. The Dresden International University is a private postgraduate university, founded a few years ago in cooperation with the Dresden University of Technology. Dresden hosts many research institutes, some of which have gained an international standing. The domains of most importance are micro and nanoelectronics, transport and infrastructure systems, material and photonic technology, and bioengineering. The institutes are well connected among one another as well as with the academic education institutions. Helmholtz Centrum Dresden Rosendorf is the largest complex of research facilities in Dresden, a short distance outside the urban areas. It focuses on nuclear medicine and physics. As part of the Helmholtz Association, it is one of the German big science research centers. The Max Planck Society focuses on fundamental research. In Dresden, there are three Max Planck Institutes MPI, the MPI of Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics the MPI for Chemical Physics of Solids and the MPI for the Physics of Complex Systems. The Fraunhofer Society hosts institutes of applied research that also offer mission-oriented research to enterprises. With 11 institutions or parts of institutes, Dresden is the largest location of the Fraunhofer Society worldwide. The Fraunhofer Society has become an important factor in location decisions and is seen as a useful part of the knowledge infrastructure. The Leibniz Community is a union of institutes with science covering fundamental research and applied research. In Dresden there are three Leibniz Institutes. The Leibniz Institute for Polymer Research and the Leibniz Institute for Solid State and Materials Research are both in the material and high technology domain, while the Leibniz Institute for Ecological and Regional Development is focused on more fundamental research into urban planning. Helmholtz Centrum Dresden Rosendorf was member of the Leibniz Community until the end of 2010. Dresden has more than 20 gymnasia in which prepare for a tertiary education, five of which are private. The Saxisches Lande Gymnasium für Musik with a focus on music is supported, as its name implies by the state of Saxony, rather than by the city. There are some Berufliche Gymnasia in which combine vocational education and secondary education and Alben Gymnasium which prepares higher education of adults avocational. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.